everybody, it's Beth here again and um, in today's session uh, we're going to paint this gorgeous lop-eared rabbit. Um, so we're doing it in watercolour, so you just need a watercolour palette. We're keeping it really simple and just using blue and grey um, today. So we're concentrating mainly on tones, so darker areas and lighter areas. So we'll be using our water um, to act as a white um, and I'll show you how to create these tones. But this is really what today's class is about. So keeping it really nice and simple. So we've got our blues and our greys. We're going to do, use a little bit of peach just for the inside of the ears and obviously a little bit of black for the eyes. So um, we'll start by sketching him out. So I'll just move that out of the way. And um, I have included a template in the pack. So if you wanted to use your template, you just place it roughly in the middle of your paper um, and you can draw around it just to get the basic outline. If you want to have a go at drawing it freehand, uh, then we'll do it now. So basically, this um, lovely lop-eared rabbit, he's got quite a, um, it's wider at the bottom. His face is sort of wider at the bottom, so not an oval like we would normally draw um, a rabbit. We're going to draw a little line and just do very light lines because we're going to come back and just tweak this a little bit. So a little curved line at the top, little rainbow, and then we're going to just bring that down and start bringing it out a little bit on both sides. So once we've got to about that point there, then we're going to start bringing it back in and the bottom of his face, we're just going to do quite a flat line just to start with, okay? Just to join them up. We are going to rub this out. So definitely go nice and light with your pencil work. So we've got that basic shape now. I've just got an extra little line there, so we'll rub that out. So once you've got that basic shape drawn in, you can see we're narrower at the top than at the bottom. Um, we'll go back and just add a little bit more definition into our shape. So at the top, I want to just come down just slightly. So we're just going to come down in a little dip and then back up again. And then we'll rub that top line out just there. Like that. So you can see on the original drawing or the template, we've got this little peak just there. Okay. And then we want to come in at the sides a little bit where the eyes are going to be. So I'm going to come down a couple of centimetres and then we're just going to bring this line in and just curve it in a little bit and then back out again to join up with his lovely cheeks there. So again, I will rub that little line out there so I don't need that line anymore. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So we're just going to come down just roughly level with the other side and bring this line in. Now, if you're using your template um, and you've got your basic outline, you'll need to do this as well, so with your little eyes. So you're going to come in and then curve it back out again on the other side. And again, we'll rub that line out just there. Okay. And then the cheeks, um, we're going to just Actually, we're going to, I'm just going to curve that off just a little bit as well. Okay, so we're going to just continue that line there and join it up with the cheek. So we've curved it off just there, can you see? And then we're going to bring it down, that's fine. But here, I want to just bring it in just a little bit. So we're just flattening off that corner just a little bit, so you can just see I've flattened off that corner and we'll rub that out. And then we're going to just bring it up in the middle of his face, so a little line that goes up and back down on the other side and then back up like that. And I'm just doing a little bit of a, more of a wibbly line rather than a smooth line, just to give it 
a little bit more character. Okay, so just a little bit of a wibbly line just there. Okay. So once we've done that, we can rub this bottom line out as well. All right, and then we'll pop the ears in next. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring that up and over. Okay, so we'll do the ears next. So he's got these lovely um, floppy ears, not sticky up ones like a lot of rabbit breeds, but these sort of sticky up ears. So just this point here, just at the top of the eye, just, well, the, this curve that we did. I want to do a little line that comes down roughly at a sort of a 45 degree angle and we'll just curve it round just a little bit down. Past the level, you can see the level of the bottom of the face, so continue it past that level and then we're going to curve it back up like that towards the bottom of the face. So we're just bringing it back in just past that curve of the cheek. So just underneath, you can see there. And we'll do another little line. So the bottom of this curve, just there, I just want to pop another little line in that goes along the edge and then it gets closer to the edge the lower we go down, so you can see. Okay, so again, if you're using your template, you can add these little details in to your outline. And then on the other side, we'll do is another floppy ear. So again, starting just from the top of this curve and then coming out. And I'm going to take this one just a slightly steeper angle, not too much. So we're going to just curve it round and down and then a little bit more of a straight line down now. So you can see it's a slightly different. It's nice just to keep them a little bit varied, I think, rather than having them identical. And then we're going to curve that up and then bring it over roughly again, the same level as that one, the other ear, just there. So hopefully now we're all pretty much at the same level, whether you've used your template or you're sketching it freehand. So we can all now work to the same instructions. So the eyes, we're just gonna have the eyes coming out the side of his head just a little bit. So I'm going to just close up that gap with a slight curved line like that on that side and the same on the other side. And again, I'll just track over, just make sure that they're roughly equal although they don't have to be perfectly the same. Okay. And then we'll just under this little peak, just there, we're just going to pop his little mouth. So I'm just going to do a little curved line, just there. And then we're going to pop a little line that comes up from the points, just up about one and a half centimeters, something like that. And then we're going to just take it off one side and then the other side, like that. And that's all the drawing we need to do for the head. So we'll just pop the body in now. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just start from the bottom of the ear and I want to just bring a little line that just comes down, coming out at a very slight angle on that side and the same on the other side, like that. And then we're going to continue this line down a little bit and start bringing it out a little bit further, okay. And we're going to keep it quite simple, so don't, we're not going to get too detailed. So we're going to just continue that line down a bit more. On this side, we're going to start curving it in a little bit, like that. And then we'll keep this one, bringing it down now, and we'll start curving this one in. This curve is slightly lower than this curve. So I'm going to continue that down just a little bit. Now, when we get to about this point, um, we're just going to pop a little line in just to ground him. So I just want a little line that comes across the page at a slight angle like that. And if your lines, if you need to then continue your lines down just to meet up with that straight line, then you can do that, okay. And then all we're going to do for his feet, we're going to keep it really simple, just roughly about middle, maybe over just to the left, just a little bit. We're going to do a little rainbow 
there we'll leave a little gap another little rainbow like that and then his little like little toes aren't they just curving up okay on both sides like that so he's just sort of gripping to the edge of that line okay and that for now is all the drawing we're going to do so we'll now start painting him if you've got any little pencil lines that you want to rub out um, then you can do that the other thing you can do and I'm not going to do it because I want you to see where my line work is if you didn't want a really harsh pencil line at this point you could just use your rubber just to rub over it just to knock it back a little bit if you've gone quite dark but that's um, a choice that you can make it doesn't matter there's no right or wrong okay so let's start painting now so we'll start with our lightest tones first and then we'll build them up so I, I've gone for sort of a grey look for this rabbit, um, but we've got a like a, a blue hue um, underneath the grey. So I'm going to start with my blue first of all, and I don't think it really matters which blue. I've got a few different shades of blue, and on, I don't think it really matters what blue you have. We've all probably got different watercolour sets anyway, so that's fine. So we'll start off by popping a little bit of blue just down the centre of his face. Now, that's quite a strong blue, so I don't want to go any stronger than that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a little bit of that blue just here. I'm not taking it down to the nose. I've left a gap above my nose. And we're just going to take that blue up. Now, it's quite strong. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash my brush, just get a little bit of clean water on my brush and now we're going to just drag that blue up the face and I want to just I don't want to go any darker than that that is the darkest we want to go so I'm not going to add any more paint onto my rabbit okay and I'm going to just going to keep washing my brush washing any paint that I'm picking up off my brush and we're going to just take it up towards the top the head I'm going to wash my brush again I'm going to pick up some of this paint we're spreading it up towards the top I'm not taking it right to the edge and I'm not painting really neatly you can see my brush strokes are quite loose I haven't painted any harsh lines or anything like that and we're just going to take it up towards the top of the head not quite to the edge keep washing my brush I'm going to pull it over just a little bit towards the eye, but not all the way to the eye. And then we're going to take it down just around the nose, not all the way to the nose, just underneath the nose towards the mouth. And you can see it's getting lighter as we go as well, because we're getting less and less blue on our brush. So I'm just pulling that out. Okay, so we've got that sort of area. Now just be careful, obviously, we're, we're putting quite a lot of water on our paper. And you can see even on mine, I'm starting to get a few little bits of paper rolling off. So try not to get it too wet and try not to overwork your paper because that's when it starts going a little bit bobbly. Okay. So um, once we've done that, we'll stay with our blue for a bit. So I'm going to get a little bit more blue on my brush just a little bit and we're just going to do a little bit down the side so again that's quite strong so I'm going to wash my brush get a clean brush and then just with a little bit of water we're just going to pull that blue down and just follow the curve of the face just a little bit just there and then under the eye so a little bit on that side and then a little bit on this side just on the edge okay and that's quite an, a neat line isn't it so I don't like that neat edge so I'm just gonna with my brush I'm just gonna try and soften it off and just blend it in just a little bit okay so once we've done that we'll do a little tiny little bit of blue just in the mouth just that tip just there 
Okay, and then I've left a little gap. I'm going to just pick up a little bit of that blue with a clean brush and we're just going to dab it along the edge. And we'll just get a little tint of blue just along that edge. Just there, keep picking up a little bit from the top and just taking it down to the bottom, just there. Okay, so we've got a bit of a blue rabbit at the moment, haven't we? Don't worry, we will add some gray in a minute. So we'll go to the ears next. So what we'll do for the ears, we want, we want it slightly darker at the top. So I'm going to just careful around my eye, maybe leave a little white strip if you want to just along the top of the ear and just along the bottom of the ear, just there on that top section. And I'm going to wash my brush, clean my brush off. And then we're just going to, with a clean brush, just pull that blue up through the ear. Okay, so we've got slightly darker top, slightly darker bottom. Okay, and we'll do the same on the other side. So again, we're going to go slightly darker around the eye and we haven't drawn a line on this one with our pencil, have we? We're just going to pop it in with our paint. So I start at the top and then we're just going to pull that paint down the edge and then just curve it round towards the bottom, just there. Okay. And then we might just pull it down just a little bit next to, just a tiny little strip next to the face and along, just along the top of that ear just there. Might curve it off just a little bit there. Okay, so that's all the blue now on the head and the ears. So we'll just do a little bit on the body next. So again, we're going to make the top of the body a little bit darker, so under the chin. So you can see I'm going under the chin, just a little bit. Under the chin, just to that side, not all the way to the edge. And then I'm going to pull my brush down. And then just add a little bit of water onto my brush. And we're gonna pick up that paint and just pull it down. And again, try not to have a really neat edge. You can see my brush strokes are quite scribbly. I'm just going to keep adding a little bit of water, no more paint on my brush, just water now. And we're just going to keep pulling that blue down sort of towards the middle of his body, just there. So we've got a little tint of blue in this middle section. And then I'm going to put a little bit more paint on my brush. We're going to go a little bit darker around the feet down in between. It's going to be quite dark here. So we're just going to work around the top just like that. And then just around the bottom edge, just a little bit. Just around the bottom edge, just along here. Okay, and then again we'll wash our brush and we'll use our water just to help blend it out just a little bit, soften off those edges like that. Just pulling it up just a bit. Keep washing your brush if you're picking up quite a lot of paint on it and using just a clean brush just to soften off that blue just a little bit. Okay. So again, that's all the blue we need for the body. We'll do a little bit on the feet. So just, again, just a little bit, just a little dab, just along the side, and then maybe just a few inside on those little curved edges. And then on the other foot, we'll do a little bit, just along the edge again, and then just a little bit down there, okay. So that's our blue done. So we'll let that blue dry and we'll start go back to the face and um, we'll start adding our gray next. So if you've got a gray in your water palette, that's brilliant. If you haven't, you can make a gray by uh, taking a little bit of white 
and mixing it with a little bit of black to make your grey. Okay, and we don't need a really dark grey, sort of a mid-grey will be absolutely fine. So we're going to go back to our nose and we're going to pretty much do the same as what we did with the blue. So I'm probably going to use slightly less grey because it's quite a dark shade isn't it so we're just going to dab on a little bit of gray just on that center bit just there and then with washing my brush and then with a clean brush i'm going to start dragging that gray just up the center of the head and we're going to keep washing your brush just with water and just pulling it up the center of your head and again i haven't got any harsh straight lines then we're going to pull it out. Try not to work your paper too much in case it starts getting a bit bobbly. And then we're going to just pull it down and around the nose. And I haven't gone all the way to the top, you'll notice, this time with the grey. I've kept it sort of up just above the eye level, just there. And then we're going to pull that down like that round the nose and then I'm going to put the tiniest little bit, little dot of grey just under the eye there and then wash my brush and just pull that grey just down into the blue and again just a tiny tiny dot just under the eye and then use my wash my brush and then just use my brush just to pull it down and then what I'm going to do is with a clean brush, and again, don't overwork your paper because it is, we don't want to make it too bobbly, but just with a clean brush, I just want to just get a little bit of water. And we're just going to now work over the whole of the face, all the way down over the nose, and we're just picking up a little tint of colour so that we haven't got any really stark white areas. We still want light areas, but just a little tint of colour. Okay. Like that. Okay, so we'll let that dry for a minute. I might make a judgment. I might just add a little bit more grey into this centre bit, just darken it down just a little bit more. So just in between the eyes. And because my paper's already wet, it's bleeding out a little bit, but that's fine. I don't... It gives it quite a nice soft edge. So we're going to just make it just a little shade darker. Okay. And we'll let that dry. Right, so let's move on to the ears next. So again, we're going to go quite dark. So a little bit of grey on your brush. And we're going to start just above the eye. And just across the top of the ear. Like that. I've left a little white line next to the eye. You can see that. I'm not going to paint that bit. And I'm going to wash my brush and we're just going to drag that grey just down the top of the ear. Just blend it out like that. And then a little bit of grey on the tip of your ear. Wash your brush and then just blend it out a little bit like that. So it's really nice and simple looks really effective. So we'll do the same on the other side, so the top of the ear, making it nice and dark next to the eye, and then just a little bit down the side of the face, just down the top of the ear, just a little bit. And then I'm going to pop a little line just on the tip of the ear, just curving it round. I'm going to wash my brush, wipe off the drips so it's not too wet. I'm just going to pull that grey down like that and then just soften off that edge a little bit. Okay. And then what we'll do, we'll 
we'll add a little bit of peach. So I've got a peachy colour already, I'm quite lucky. I've got a little peachy colour already in my palette. Now if you don't have a peach, you can make one with some a bit of yellow and red mixed into your white. So we want it again quite light. So just add a little bit of water if it goes too dark and we're just going to pop a little bit of peach just in the ears on both sides. So make sure my brush isn't too dry. And again, you can see my brush strokes quite scribbly. And then I want to just add the tiniest little bit of grey just in this top corner and down the side of the face. And then clean brush just to help dab it and blend it out a little bit. So it just softens off that peachy colour as well, just um, gives it a little tint of grey. So that's the top half of our face pretty much done. We're going to let it dry before we put our black on because we really don't want the black to go all smudgy and bleed out. So we'll let that dry whilst we do the body next. So we're just going to now add the grey, little dabs of grey just under the chin, just working across under that mouth, working all the way across the body and then we can just bring it down just a little bit and then you've guessed it, wash our brush and then pull it down. So I'm keeping the edges quite light so we're just going to blend that grey down Keep going, so all the way, keep adding little bits of water. If, you, if you're going too light, you might want to just add a tiny little bit more grey in, and you can. So just make a judgement. And we're going to just go down the centre. So I might just add the tiniest, I'm losing my grey a little bit, so I'm going to add just a little bit into my... brush and then keep going all the way down and then we'll blend it out to the edges but again we want those edges to stay quite light so don't go really dark on the edges. I'm using mainly water and we're just picking up a little bit of that paint and blending it down like that. So once we've done that, we've done the top part, we're going to make the bottom part a little bit darker. So around this foot and down in between. So we've gone quite dark here, so we want to make those feet pop out a little bit. So you can see the edges, I'm just pulling my brush up just so I haven't got a, I don't want to end up with a stripe like that, I don't want a harsh line, so I'm pulling my brush up just to get an uneven edge. A little bit down here. And then we're going to blend it up again. So just pulling that paint up with a clean brush just to blend it up. And just take it along the edge like that. I might just add a tiny bit more, just dab. The, the paper's wet so I'm just dabbing a little bit of grey in and it is just bleeding out automatically because the paper's still wet. So just making that bottom section just a little bit darker, dabbing it out. But it's a very watery grey that I'm using. Okay, I'm just dabbing and blending that out. And then we just do a hint of grey on the feet, but we do want to keep those nice and light. So a very watery grey, just to keep those feet nice and light. And then we can just with a little bit of grey on our brush, a darker bit of grey, just work up in between those, I don't know what you call them, they're, I don't think they're toes, are they? But anyway, we'll just do that. So just a little bit, just up in between, like that. Okay, so I might just do a little bit of grey, just up this edge, just there and then soften it off with a clean brush just along that edge. Again, keeping it nice and light. Just 
just there. And hopefully that's dry now. It might be a bit damp, but we'll give it a go. If I was you, I would let make sure it's really, really dry before we paint our black on. But um, I'll give it a go and hopefully it'll be okay. So now we want to go really dark with our black. So a little bit of water on your brush, really working your brush into your black. And then we're going to just very carefully, just with the tip of your brush, you can see I'm not pressing hard. And I often, just to help me, I always just do the outline first. And then that helps me to get a nice, neat outline. And then I'm going to just leave a little white area with a shine in the eye. You can see we put the eye in and it just brings it to life, doesn't it? So same on the other side. Hopefully it's dry enough. It's not going to go smudgy. And then just roughly the same spot. And we'll pop his little shine in. Look at that. And then the nose, just with the tip of your brush, so just with the point, barely touching the paper to try and get a really thin line. We're just going to sort of dot it along the nose just a little bit. And then down the middle there. And then just a little dot just along the top of the mouth, just like that. And then I want to wash my brush and I want to just soften off that. So I'm going to just dab it just a little bit with a wet brush and it's, it will go a little bit smudgy but it just softens it off a little bit like that and then the same down that bit there and then just a little bit of water just to clean my brush again so just to blend that out just a little bit like that and that is all the painting we're going to do. So the last little bit, finishing touches, are his whiskers. So up to you, you can outline him. If you want to go a little bit fluffy with your edge, you can. So you can make your edge a little bit more fluffy with your pencil. Um, so just working along the edge and just fluffing up that outline just a little bit but you might not want to you might like it as it is and not want much of a pencil outline and that's absolutely fine and then we're just going to do some little dots with our pencil either side of that nose like that and then some whiskers so just flicking your brush your brush your pencil out each side Add his whiskers and then maybe a couple just above his eyes. And I'm going to just bring that edge of the eye down into a little curve on both sides, just there, like that. And there you have it. What a very sweet little lop-eared rabbit. Mm -hmm.